Hey everyone, it's Lena Nori, and in today's video, you guys are gonna be getting ready with me for my photo shoot. So if you wanna see how I achieve this look, just make sure to keep watching and let's do this. So to start off my makeup routine, I first start with these under eye treatment masks, just because if I am going on a photo shoot or going somewhere like a wedding, that's gonna require a lot of photos. I definitely wanna make sure that I don't have those bags underneath my eyes. And these are the LA Pure Eye Treatment Mask. 24 karat pure gold, and I just love the way they feel under your eyes. The best way to describe it is that it's like Red Bull for underneath your eyes. Now before I start my eyeshadow, I'm gonna go ahead and prep the eye area, starting off with brushing out my lashes. Next, I'm going to use the eyeshadow primer by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I just kinda use this to underline my brows. And then to shade in my brows, I'm gonna use this Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is a brow powder duo, and it's in dark brown. I'm gonna use this and my MAC brush, which looks like it's been eaten alive. I'm just gonna dip my brush into the dark brown part right there, because I wanna start off by lining my brows with the darker brown. Start off with the bottom, line it to kinda of give it like a sharp lining. I line the tip of my brow closest to my nose and then I kind of shade it inward. And now I'm going in with the lighter brown to shade in the brows. I'm gonna fill in the center section with hair-like strokes. So basically, whichever way that your brows are going is where you're going to do single individual strokes. And then I will go in one more time with the Anastasia Pro Pencil just to kind of give it the highlight underneath the brow using the same brush. Next, we're gonna go on to the eyeshadow and I like to prep my eyeshadow or my eye base with the Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. It's just basically a primer that I use for my eyeshadow or what I end up using, which I'm probably actually gonna use in this case is this MAC NC25 concealer. And that's actually what I'll probably end up using. And next for eyeshadow, I just keep it super simple with these three brushes. And then I'm also only gonna be using three eyeshadows. And for some of the eyeshadows, I have them in these little cases, so I don't have the name, but I will make sure to link it below. So to start, I'm gonna start with this brown. It's more of like an orangey brown as the base of my fold. And then I'm gonna use this thicker, fluffier brush. It is MAC 217. And I'm gonna start in the crease of my eyes. And then the next eyeshadow I'm gonna use is Sketch by MAC to use to give myself kind of a smoky effect on the corners. And then I'm just gonna be using the same flat brush. And then I'm going to apply it in a little triangle. Now, 
And then if I want to add more of the shadow look, I will go back and add that. And now I'm going to line my waterline and then also the top of my waterline with this MAC pencil eyeliner and it is in the color Feline. And before I get into my lashes, I think it's finally time to take these off just because, oh, they felt so good. Um, it has been 20 minutes. And actually, before we get into lashes, I'm going to do a very, very, very thin line of this. It is the L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black. It is super thin and fine, as you can see right there. Just a quick disclaimer, if you do have eyelash extensions like I do, it is so hard to apply liquid eyeliner to your eyes. I'm actually three weeks in on my lashes. I'm getting a fill tomorrow. I am gonna add just a few individuals on the ends to give it like more of a cat and dramatic effect because as I'd mentioned, when you are taking photos and you are at a photo shoot, more is definitely less. So I'm gonna add these and when I don't have eyelash extensions, the Kiss brand is definitely the eyelashes that I use. I do use the Huda Beauty lashes as well, but these I just get from the local CVS or Walgreens, so it's super convenient, especially if I don't have time to order the other lashes from Sephora. So I'm gonna start off with the first one, and these are the medium size. And then for my eyelash glue, I'm using the Duo Eyelash Adhesive, and I just apply a thin little layer on the top. You don't want to apply it too much just because, especially in my case, I have eyelash extensions and it gets super messy. And then I'm actually going to use my tweezers to help apply them just because it is hard when you do have eyelash extensions on. Now my eye makeup is almost complete, but before I do the shadow, the gradient shadow kind of underneath the waterline, I'm gonna go ahead and now do my foundation and concealer. For foundation, I use the Fenty Beauty. I am absolutely obsessed with this foundation. I used to always use Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, but this is now my go-to foundation, and you'll see why once I put it on. This is the Pro Filter in 300. It's a soft matte. I will tell you that it's really important that you get color matched and I've tried other colors that are similar to the 300 and this is the one that I like the most because not only is it super dewy but it also kind of has like a tan yellow undertone to it and I never thought that I would like that but I really do like this foundation and I think it looks so great on the skin and then for the brush I'm using the MAC 170 foundation brush. I used to always use a beauty blender but I feel like the beauty blender kind of absorbed all of the foundation. So now I apply my foundation with the MAC brush and then I will set it with the Beauty Blender. And I used to not like heavy foundation and this one you definitely get a lot of coverage and I, I just love this foundation. I move on to my under eye concealer. I'm gonna use the MAC NC35 and then on top I'm gonna use the Naked Urban Skin, which I love this under eye concealer. I think it's definitely one of the best lightening and also illuminating under eye concealers. Triangular shape. And then I also put a little bit on my nose just to kind of lighten the area up here too. And then I'm gonna use the same Beauty Blender to just blend it in. And then I'm going to use a tiny bit, and when I mean tiny, just a little bit of the Neutral Set Colorless Powder. And just because I don't really like a ton of powder on my face, I don't even actually use powder to set my makeup. I'm just going to use a little bit and apply it with my Beauty Blender just under my eyes because you do get that little fold. So I'm just going to apply a tiny bit underneath where my concealer is. 
And then I'm going to go straight into my under eyes because I want to complete the whole eye look. And I'm going to use this MAC brush. It is 219. I'm going to take the original shadow and go ahead and align it underneath my eye. And I'm just going to start from the corner and then blend it in. And now to complete my eyes, I just have the mascara that I need to apply on the bottom. Of course not on the top because I have eyelash extensions and falsies. But this is the L'Oreal Waterproof Voluminous in Carbon Black. And I just apply this to my lower lashes. And just keep applying a few times. I think that's a good amount. And then lastly, but definitely not least, we're going to do the contour, which is my favorite part. I love facial contour, and especially since I got on the Fenty Beauty. This is my favorite contour stick. It is in the color Truffle. I am obsessed with this contour stick. It just makes contouring so much easier, and especially the fact that you're just able to apply it with one little applicator. So I'm going to start off with my face and then I'm gonna move on to my neck and then you're probably wondering what does she mean by her neck but I also contour my neck. So first I'm gonna start off with my cheekbones. I suck in a little bit just to kind of see the definition. And then I do one layer above it but a shorter layer. Of course outlines of my temple and below my hairline. And we do the nose, the little arch, and then lastly, the neck. And the reason why I do my neck is because I have that artificial line right there that drives me berserk. So I like to put it on top just to kind of blend it in. And then I have a second beauty blender that I don't use for my foundation and my concealer. This one is specifically just for contour and I start blending. Blending is so important and you can't really tell because it's a video, but what I basically do is when I'm blending the darker areas, I have a stronger grip onto my face and I'm blending. And as I get out, just to kind of give it like an ombre effect, I start to loosen up my beauty blender and it's not as pushed onto my skin, just to kind of give it a blending effect. And then I go in one more time just to line the tip of my nose. And just a memo for normal day to day, I probably apply one third the amount of makeup that I just applied. And I generally don't do this extensive of eyeshadow either. To top off my contour, I'm going to apply blush. It is Plum Foolery from MAC. And then of course I use this fluffy MAC brush. I can't see the number, but I'll make sure to link it below. And I just apply a very, very, very small amount, a few dabs, and just into the highlight of my cheekbone. And you definitely don't want to get too crazy with your blush and apply it all over your face. And then lastly, to complete the look, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips, which is my favorite part. And I'm all about the rosier colors. And I like to mix a lot of colors on my lip as well. So first I'm gonna start off with aligning my lips with the Aqua Lip in 14C. And then I'm gonna ombre the color into the center of my lips.
And then next I'm going to add a little bit of the cherry lip pencil and just kind of blend in the two colors. And then to complete the ombre effect on my lips, I'm going to apply my favorite lipstick, which is Faux, and it's by MAC, and it's more of like a rosier nude, just right into the center. And then because my lips do get super dry, if you've watched my other videos, I talk about the Aquaphor lip repair and it's because I had an allergic reaction to a lip filler and one of the side effects is that I have super chapped lips so I always make sure to apply a small little amount onto the tip of my finger and just put it into the center of the fold of my lip. Now this concludes my full makeup look for my photo shoot and actually lastly I am going to touch up the bottom of my lashes one more time with the mascara just to give it kind of a dramatic lash on the bottom since I have not only eyelash extensions but also individuals on the top. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to you guys getting ready with me again. Bye!